two hours before her Cardiff concert this week and in an empty function room above the stage, the singer-songwriter, Brit Award winner Paloma Faith steps somewhat warily, she says, into the arena of a political interview. I'll throw a few names at you and yeah. I'd like to get your immediate reaction. This is if where you, don't you humiliate mind. me because no. I'm not going to know who they you are. You are going to know who they are. <laughs> yeah, trust me, you are. Even if it's just a facial expression. Okay. But David Cameron. Ed Miliband. Nick Clegg. Uh, Nigel Farage. Absolutely no. Only love can hurt like this. Paloma Faith, whose father is Spanish, will later tell her sellout audience that with UKIP in power, her immigrant band wouldn't be there to play. Then she follows that up with a dramatic silence on stage. The point that UKIP would make is we're not saying take immigrants out of the country, we're saying control immigration. They're saying that they're saying that, but if you look closely at the way they're articulating it, it's a very extreme right-wing attitude. Her attitude, proudly left-wing, feminist. She supported Oxfam's campaign on violence against women in Honduras and calls herself a vehement socialist. Torn this time, she tells me, between voting Labour or Green. There's something empathetic and caring about the Green Party that appeals to me. I like their ideology. Her grasp of political detail is, by her own admission, seriously limited. That she leaves to her new political muse and recent surprise warm-up act, the left-wing commentator, Owen Jones. They have a bit of music. I come on and, and, and talk only a few minutes about, about things that affect people, what they can do about it, how they should have a hope. Uh, and then they have an incredible evening with Blame of Faith. Somebody asked me recently, they said, um, oh, do you feel you've become more political? And I said, no, I was really just waiting till people were listening. I tell myself, you don't mean nothing. More and more people are now listening to Paloma Faith. Her third album, A Perfect Contradiction, was the biggest selling record by a woman in the UK last year. So her repeated appeals to fans to go out and vote in this general election make her a notable foil for this man. I'm not interested in the power of politicians. I'm interested Russell in Brand, the, power of people. the comedian and activist who famously called on young people not to vote in the absence of a political revolution. I do think it was irresponsible because I think what he did by doing that was play more into the hands of power again because the powerful always vote. They'll always vote. It's in their interest to vote. So Russell so, Brand's wrong on this? I think Russell Brand's wrong. I think we need to vote first, then complain. So will she succeed in galvanising her fans? Some certainly, but not all. And if Paloma Faith tonight tells you to, to go out and vote? I'm not going to do it because some pop star has said go out and do this. I mean, I've only come to see her because I like her songs. What do you think of Paloma Faith using this platform to, think... to tell people to go and vote? Amazing, because a lot of her fans are the type of people that wouldn't necessarily be involved in politics, so fair play to her, good honour for doing it. Then there's Paloma Faith's take on the British music industry. As lacking in political appetite as it is, the working class voice, and women, in her view, increasingly marginalised. And well, we've got Paloma Faith on stage at the Brit Awards. Well, I think this year at the Brit Awards it was very male heavy, and for like the last three years, People have been saying how women have dominated. It's like we had our three years of fun and now we've got to get back in the kitchen. <laughs> but I felt, I felt that, you know, um, it was interesting this year, uh, British music that's been celebrated is quite a kind of white middle-class boys club. And if women in the industry are underrepresented, she feels they're also over-sexualised, forced into making a choice whether to exploit their sex or not. And I made the choice not to. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not a woman who enjoys feeling sexy or being sexy. It's just that I feel that I've taken ownership over my sexuality and I hope that it's empowered other women Empowerment is a potent theme for this once self-styled underdog. 
She's wary of the backlash interviews like this inevitably bring, but playing it safe doesn't seem to be Paloma Faith's style.